Looking for an affordable solution to test the learnability and usability of your digital product? A cognitive walkthrough is just the technique for you. Unlike other evaluation techniques such as user testing, it doesn't involve any external participants. So it's a great budget option. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. Today we are discussing the cognitive walkthrough method. I'll explain what it is, who should conduct it, and go over the step-by-step -step process of how to use it to evaluate your product. Let's get right into it. Cognitive walkthrough is a method of evaluating and learnability and usability of a system, like an app or a website interface. Usually, it is done with prototypes of new products or features, but it can be done to evaluate an existing product too. It is typically conducted in a group of evaluators and has a formal structure. The evaluators take on a user persona, go through the user flow of using the product and assess how easy it is to use the product in each step. Though it can be done by an individual, the cognitive walkthrough is designed for a group workshop setting. The good news is that you don't need to recruit any external participants. It is perfectly fine to conduct it with people from within our organization. There are four roles in the group. First is the facilitator. They organize the session and make sure that everything runs smoothly. The next role is the presenter who presents the prototype of the product tested and interacts with it. Sometimes the role of facilitator and the presenter can be filled by one person. The third and very important role is the recorder. They record every insight and output of the cognitive walkthrough session and create a summary after it is finished. Then there are the evaluators. These are typically the people like UX researchers, UX designers, product managers, engineers, and field experts. The more diverse the group, the better, as everyone will have their own unique point of view. The first thing you need to prepare is the prototype. You can create a low fidelity, simple sketch prototype or a high fidelity one in a tool like Figma. I recommend starting with lower fidelity prototypes to test initial concepts and save the fine-tuned ones for later in the testing process. You should also prepare users' personas you want your evaluators to emulate and the user scenario they should go through. Say you are testing a bike sharing app prototype. You might define a persona of a middle-aged man, let's name him John, that wants to start riding a bike to work to get fitter and is not overly tech savvy. Your scenario could be this. John registered and wants to borrow a bike for the first time. How is the process for him? Another scenario could be completing the registration of process itself. You can conduct multiple cognitive walkthroughs for different personas and scenarios. So, you have the prototype prepared and have gathered your group. Now what? The first step is for the presenter to describe the chosen user persona and scenario to the evaluators in as much detail as possible. They have to adopt the mindset and situation of this persona, so make sure not to overlook this step. Once the persona and scenario are clear, bring forth the prototype and the group can start discussing the first action the user would take to accomplish their goal. There are four defined questions to help assess every action during the cognitive walkthrough. These are, Will the user try to achieve the right result? Will the user notice that the correct action is available? Will the user associate the correct action with the result they're trying to achieve? After the action is performed, will the user see that progress is made towards the goal? These questions will always be the same for each user action, even though the wording might differ slightly. For recording purposes, it is beneficial to have a template with these four questions printed out to mark any answers, points, and potential issues the evaluators discuss. After you go over each action step by step and reach the end of the flow, the session is finished. Be careful to examine all routes a user might take to reach their goal. And that's it for now. The cognitive walkthrough helps you gain valuable insights into how users think and navigate through your designs without the need to involve external participants just yet. Nothing can replace testing with real users, however, as it is only them that can provide truly unbiased feedback. 
Test the issues that come up during a cognitive walkthrough with real users and validate that these are the problems your users will struggle with. UX Tweak is here to help you with it. Create a free account and try our user testing tools today. Like and subscribe to catch all the latest UX insights. See you next time.